Have you ever struggled to keep track of goals, tasks, and workflows while you are busy coding inside a cursor? This video is for you. Today, I will show you how cursor and Taskmaster combined can turn you into a personal project manager right inside of your development environment. Let's be real. Coding is more than just opening up an IDE and writing away functions, classes, you having to juggle features, bugs, deadlines, and sometimes roadmaps that fight among themselves. Keeping everything in your head or scattered across sticky notes is what most people would do. And the end result of this is being slowed down. Now, this is where Taskmaster AI comes in. It's like having and hiring your own very project manager right inside of your cursor IDE. An AI that helps you create, organize, and track all your tasks while you build. No more context switching to Trello, to Notion, to Jira every 10 minutes. In your IDE, you can manage your projects. But how does this all work? It's easy. First, we're going to have to install the Taskmaster AI extension inside of Cursor. Head over to the command line and do so if you are doing it for the very first time by typing npm install Taskmaster AI. Once that's complete, we're going to verify Taskmaster has been installed by going over to activate that within our Cursor settings. So head over to Cursor settings, scroll down to Tools and Integration. And we're going to look for a Taskmaster AI MCP. If you don't have that, you can always click on new MCP. I do have a number of MCPs uh, available in here. And make sure Taskmaster AI, this exact same MCP, has been installed. And it's going to require you to put in uh, a couple of config keys. So this specific MCP activation will be left in the comment section below. Now, with Taskmaster MCP setup, we are all good. So go ahead and close that. We now have Taskmaster MCP with uh, 36 tools, which is super exciting. There are tools to initialize a project, update project, a task, update task. So uh, a whole lot of things. Now, next thing from this is let's activate Taskmaster AI. So watch on my left side. In here, I do have just a couple of uh, folders available the cursor, the spec story that keeps track of my prompt. And we should see a new one being created in here for Taskmaster. It takes a few seconds. Now that was almost successful. And it also prompts new MCP detected. If this happens, you're just going to want to enable this. And now we should see a Taskmaster folder created with a number of subfolders. And these subfolders are extremely important. There is a docs, there is a report, there is a task and there are templates. So this is what we need for Taskmaster to become the project manager within this environment. Now, the next thing is this is essentially creating a PRD file. And we're going to talk about what this is. A PRD file is essentially a product requirements document. And it's of these documents where based on the requirements, tasks are created. And uh, if you're not sure what this is, let's go over and uh, just give it a few seconds for that example PRD to be created. This is an example one because we haven't given any requirements yet. You can tell uh, what are the core features of the app you're building, what is the user experience of what you're trying to build within Cursor. So think like a project manager. This is the, these are the people gathering requirements and uh, figuring out what this app should be. And the more you invest time in this upfront, the better your app will be. It's tempting to jump in and start trying to vibe code away. But if you invest time in gathering and organizing your requirements, I can tell you the AI will do a way better job at building. With now, let's see how this all comes together for us to build a movie Python-based recommendation app leveraging Taskmaster as our project manager, helping us within the ID. Very basic prompt. Build a Python-based movie recommender app. The app should 
A bunch of requirements here include documentation, simple UI, and streamlined and flash, recommend similar applications, and here are some of the deliverables we want. And we can always come in and iterate through all of these requirements as we go. Now, one thing I want to call out again, going back into our Taskmaster demo here is we do have the Taskmaster folder. The docs are all blank. And essentially, we don't really have a PROD, but we want to end up with a product or project requirements document. And this will help us with that. One thing I should also call out is if you go on the cursor rules, you would see a Taskmaster folder here that was automatically generated with a Taskmaster MDC. So these are essentially rules that are telling cursor how to interpret and essentially use Taskmaster. Now, all of this is default, but if you want, I would say go ahead and, and read through to understand what this is all about. And let's go ahead and run back this prompt to create the Taskmaster project. One thing to be aware of is this does take some time to go through creating the PRD files passing out the PRD, analyzing the project complexity, getting all the tasks, expanding that. So some patience is required, but you absolutely need this if you're building a complex application that you need to delegate those tasks to the AI. Having this is a game changer. Now with some patience, all the tasks have been completed. And this does take a fair amount of time. In this case, about 10 or so minutes for this to work through and patience is required. So let's see what was done in here. It comes up with a report. I created a PRD with your requirements. And where can we find that? Go over to docs and here is the PRD, the product requirements document for the Python based movie recommender app. So here's the overview the goals. And this is something a PM, a project manager would be doing or should be doing. What are the goals for the project? Provide fast, accurate recommendations, document end to end steps, non goals, uh, mobile application is not part of the goal. And if you're not happy with any of this, this is where you're going to want to go in and fine tune this or update this accordingly what the users are supposed to do, what the data sources are, even the data model. And I encourage reading through this. This is what PMs typically we do. And now you have the luxury of having this within your environment. Before we even write this single line of code, we are building a contract of what we expect. So that was uh, successful. And uh, now you might say, well, that's interesting. I, I really like that. Uh, there is even a task document here, which has been created on all the different tasks that we can now have the AI go work on. So you can tell Cursor, go implement the data loading model. You can tell Cursor, go do validation functions. You can tell Cursor to go work on any one of this. And uh, very thorough, you could see over 800 lines of task that could be work on and guess what ai is good at working on task so you can delegate this to ai now for those who are not inclined to looking at json document there is a more beautiful way to view this and i'm going to show that way you can essentially go over to the command palette here and open that up and if you search for taskmaster for me it's the very first one and i have it on the hotkey so taskmaster and watch what opens up this is a whole new UI in the Kanban style for to do tasks that needs to be reviewed and done or deferred. Beautiful. This is amazing. And uh, you don't have to leave your IDE to have this experience. Now, if you don't want to go that way, you could always use a hotkey. And I have a hotkey on my uh, machine to get access to this. Now, you are playing the role of a project manager. And I think that's what most people really should be doing in this day and age. Generating code is easy. Planning and having your list of tasks to work on, this is where humans now can really excel at. And that's where you should be thinking about investing your time. So in here, let's see the list of to-dos. So set up project structure. You can open that, drill down into that specific task. And now we have a task to set up the project structure. And it says, create initial structure based on a PRD, uh, set up the Python environment. And if I'm not happy, I can put in some more prompts uh, in here. So I would say, create, a, uh, I can append this particular task 
to this and this will be a subtask appended to this particular task now if you come in here you can see the implementation details of what needs to happen very specific and detailed here is a test strategy verify that using pytest and if there are issues those issues will be uh, called out and what are the to do's these are the to do's that all needs to be done and you can click on each to do and you can see the very specific to do's and even within the to do's there is a test strategy it's just tremendous amount of detail let's go back over to the kanban board uh, and uh, i can now come in and say take this and ask cursor to begin working on the very first task so let's ask cursor to to do that so in here i'm asking use taskmaster ai and work on the very first task now what is the very first to do task we have it's the setup project structure so this should now use the mcp call taskmaster pick up the very first task and begin working on that now if you have a complex application this is how you need to work i, I think most developers fall into the trap of coming in getting excited by the prompt and just trying to prompt their way through everything that comes to mind but my recommendation is take a step back and plan if you plan you can build any level of complexity using the ai tools at your fingertips but without planning you might end up in your destination but it's way better to end up there with a plan than to struggle your way through that so in here we can see this is working uh, the task in in question is this particular task and i feel good about it if i wanted to and if i understood that there are no dependencies of any on, of this task i can delegate task number six to some other agent to work on and now you can have a swarm of agents working together coordinating together are you very assured that it's going to end up at the same destination you just cannot do that you just cannot work at this scale without task and without planning so again, the, the task being worked on is setting up the project structure and you should go set up the project structure here. Uh, it's uh, doing its thing. When that is done, it should be complete. Now, I want to also show one thing here while this is all working is you can actually pick a task. Uh, let's say uh, pick uh, implement a hybrid recommender optional. So this is an optional task. Maybe I don't want this. I can essentially pick this up, move it to in progress, or I can move it to review. I can even move it to done or I can move it to the parking lot and deferred. I don't want to work on this task anymore. And you can essentially do all of that. I think this to me, you having a project manager, albeit this is not the, the most complex project manager. I think if you're working with Trello, you're working with some other Jira project manager structure or even projects within GitHub, they have more robust things. But the beauty about this, and I keep coming back to it is, you're doing all of this within your development environment. Your AI is very aware of all the tasks that are available. Uh, your AI is generating and keeping those tasks as it goes. This is a game changer. Now, if you use, say, Trello and have an MCP that integrates with Trello and keeps that up to sync, good for you. But not everybody has the luxury to interact with Trello. And so having this at the fingertip, I, I think it's just a game changer. I wouldn't be coding, especially if you're building a complex vibe coding app without this. Next, let me show you where this gets even more interesting. If you have, again, a complex level of application you're looking to build, and we want to deploy a swarm of agents to come in and work with this in parallel, a simple prompt can let us do that if you have your task in place and all validated and here is the prompt we're going to spin up oh by the way one of the tasks just got completed which is great you can see this happening in real time but let's do this we're going to spin up multiple agents to work on task ai task in parallel and we're specifying that work on tasks that have no dependency assign each task to a separate agent and run concurrently because we have the task or illuminated this way we can do that and i'll actually put in another prompt here to do three tax marks in parallel at a time and this is ai amplifying your effort you can deploy this agent one agent two agent a hundred agents you can deploy that at scale without any worries and now this should go ahead and do this work uh, for us so it's identified task two three and four and why is that because task one was just completed 
or at least in progress. So we're not going to work on that anymore. So you should pick up two, three and four and deploy uh, working on that. So now it's going to choose the sub agents. You can see it thinking and this is mind blowing. If this doesn't get you excited, if this doesn't amplify your work, I don't know what will. So let's bring this home to talk about what we've seen. Now, instead of building an application and writing vague notes at the user authentication, we've come in with precision, telling Taskmaster what exactly we need to do, all the functions that need to be created. And with that said and documented, we can now with precision delegate, assign deadlines, track projects, and check things off as we progress without ever leaving cursor. That is the value of having Taskmaster AI at your fingertips within the environment. Now, here are some tips to get the most out of Taskmaster AI if you are using this for the very first time. And these are four tips I would definitely prioritize in order. The very first one is thinking about using clear prompts. The more specific your prompts are, the better your task. So if you're going to build an application, instead of saying, just build an application for me as a movie recommender, if your preference is to build it in Python using Streamlit, then say that, be specific, build a Python-based application leveraging Streamlit. And if you want a very specific version of Streamlit, I would even go to be that precise to tell you what I want. So the more specific your prompts are, the more successful you'll be. The next would be to break down things into goals. Think in goals first and then task second. What are you trying to achieve and what task can you get out of that? The more granular your tasks are, the less overwhelmed you're going to be. The third thing to think about would be use Taskmaster AI daily. This is something you come in and you are iterating daily and don't be worried or scared to change. If you have a task in here and it's no longer relevant for your build or for your project, be free to remove it, to change it, to adapt for it. This is the whole goal of project management that you can adapt. Don't be stuck on a task because that task was created two weeks ago and you feel like you have no latitude to change that. So be very adaptable, use it daily, change as you go and feel free to do so. And then the last piece here is to think about linking tasks. There's going to be tasks that do have dependencies and make sure that as you build, link the task to your specific code bases. So if something has been built, you know exactly what task resulted in it and you can tie those links. That's the beauty of having Taskmaster in your code base as opposed to a separate tool that is separate and different from your code base. So think about always keeping track of what task is being worked on and what code is being generated out of that. That will ensure success down the line. So there you have it, Taskmaster AI inside of the Cursor IDE, your built-in project manager that keeps you organized, focused, and shipping with blazing speed. If you found this helpful, give it a subscribe for more Cursor and AI productivity tips. And let me know in the comment section below what you think. What is the first project you'll build using Taskmaster AI? As always, this has been Fru. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next demo. Thank mm -hmm. you.